in Afghanistan, chaos and heartbreak. But the mission here in Wisconsin remains the same, to welcome Afghan refugees as temporary guests and also help those who choose to stay. Naomi Cole spoke to an Afghan refugee in Madison. He was employed in Afghanistan with the U.S. military and shares his message and how you can help. Can he tell me when he came to the United States? Yeah, last year, uh, September 16th. Asal Dean Gujar helped the U.S. military in Afghanistan. He uh, uh, worked with them side by side in, um, in the mission. We spoke with him with the help of his son and an interpreter and checked that it was okay to show his name and face. No, no, it's Mishkin Allah. He's there, no problem. Many fellow Afghans are about to go through similar experiences as they look to resettle, some right here in Madison. He said initially everything was organized except like uh, transportation and uh, uh, transportation and uh, interpretation. Like there was no one to uh, translate and interpret for them. So it was kind of hard for them to communicate. Communication, something we don't think about until it's our only line of survival. If they don't have good interpreters, so uh, nothing will go uh, the way that uh, they want. There's so many uh, irregularities about English that don't exist in other languages. The Literacy Network in Madison contracts with the state to help refugees learn English and integrate in the community. They've been helping Asaldin do just that and are preparing to step up that help as potentially thousands of Afghan refugees get temporary housing at Fort McCoy, with some likely to permanently resettle here in the Madison area. A lot of uh, the refugee population that we have in our programs right now are older students and so it does take more time for them to learn English. They're here to uh, make a better life for themselves and they deserve our support. Life in Madison for Asaldin and his family is getting better. <laughs> they like snow and everything. But their message to our government is one of fear for friends and family left behind. He said we are very uh, appreciative and thankful for the United States and other online nations, but there are a lot of people that uh, they are very poor and they cannot have anything, you know. He said uh, my message to the United States government that uh, they're still uh, killing those who work with the U.S. military in Afghanistan. And a plea in the light of the chaos and killings today to help those who helped us. There is something still there and the danger of Taliban, so... He said, uh, yeah, he's concerned about that, and his family members still uh, live behind. For News 3 Now, I'm Naomi Coles. Here's how to volunteer for the Literacy Network. English tutors take a two-hour shift once per week. They're asked to commit to at least one semester. Many sessions are virtual right now, and you don't need a certification as the organization prepares the lessons plan, lesson plans, and you can learn more at channel3000.com.